Before the video begins, I want to inform you this video was recorded in ultra wide, or in other words, 21 by 9 format, which means that the video will have black bars on the top and the bottom of your screen. The smoothest way to watch it will either be on an ultra wide monitor or on a phone watching it sideways in full screen. After being stuck in ideas of what I should upload, I decided just to make a entire video dedicated to, to pointing out all the bullshit inside of League of Legends that pretty much everyone will experience at some point. All right, starting with the first one, you can't walk over a turret once it's destroyed. And I feel like that should just not be in the game. Cause like you're telling me I can't just walk over a piece of rocks or I can't just walk over a piece of debris. Like I think what should be implemented into the game is that I think something that interesting that could be implemented into the game for as a feature, I guess, is you can pass through the, destroy tower debris but you are slowed that way you know you're just not unable to move through it just doesn't make sense but you know it's league of legends and it's uh right games so that probably will never happen we're hot fixing it nice how did it even make it in live how sweet guys they're hot fixing it cool that's awesome and all how did it even make it to live servers? How did they think that was okay to even put it in the game? I'm so sick of this fucking company. The trash! Fix the game! It sucks! Blame the shit! And I'm fucking addicted! Next, Brand can be ignited even though he's quite literally already on fire. You know, like that's... I feel like that just doesn't make sense, you know? Maybe they should add an interaction where like if you ignite brand i guess he gets brighter or even maybe the opposite he when you ignite him it does like a water effect of like is if someone threw like a water bucket on him and he like dries up or something i don't know that would be really cool to see as a feature and i guess the the only downside to adding like some visual effect like that is that it might make the game kind of laggy for people already who play on like pretty bad computers all right on to the next one Honestly, this one is going to sound kind of weird, but I feel like League of Legends should make it where you can only buy items respective to the class of the champion that you're playing. So sure, this would turn off a lot of build variety for champions, but I feel like it would make balancing a lot easier because it brings me to the next thing that doesn't make sense in League is why is there a consistent trend of assassins right building bruiser items and then bruiser champions building assassin items it just seems very it, it's it's supposed to be very unintentional but i guess it's on rights balancing balancing end to uh, take care of this issue but let's be real here they haven't really been doing that great the next one and i feel like a lot of people agree with this one is why can cho'gath just hide in a bush this is like probably the biggest deception that you'll like ever encounter in League of Legends, at least as a new player, is you, you see this big ass guy who's like, you know, he's like probably like 20 foot feet tall. If that, he's probably even taller in lore. Why can bro just like hide in a bush and then like, just like kill you, munch you, or like just hit, hit you with his whole combo. And like, that just, it, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, if there was anything that should be changed, I guess, <clears throat> if Riot's watching this video is, yeah, please change this. This is really, really de deceptive. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so for the next one, which is a little bit of copium, I guess you could say. Um, I am a Kled main, so this really hits home, but I just don't understand why you hear the trumpet sound that signals that you get remount back. And then just for you to end up looking at a death screen for the next, 20 seconds or so i feel like that is just deceiving at its finest all right so to make this a series of where i upload one of these a week or try to at least as of today of uploading this or whenever this comes up i want to say that if you're still watching it would mean a lot if you left a like and subscribed or fuck that don't even i don't even that's not even what i want what i want is for you to leave a comment below and leave me some suggestions on what are the things I could add? And perhaps your comment can make it to a video. The last thing that doesn't make sense in League of Legends is how can Teemo blind Lee Sin, even though my man is already blind? Like this, this just doesn't make sense. And to be honest, I did not come up with this. I actually saw this on Instagram. 
but it's pretty funny that that's how that's how the Timo interaction works with Lee Sin because I feel like it kind of just it just doesn't make sense. I think that's it. Thank you for watching.